it makes sense I'm going to be watching this video. Since my sister is called Georgia, and I know nothing about the country at all. So I'm going to do some research by watching this now. Let's learn about Georgia other than uh, it being my sister's name. <laughs> all right, let's learn about Georgia. No, Georgia. No, history of Georgia. Famous people from Georgia. What, is there not much about it? Sakartvelo. Got it. Oh, is that because it's of the city? Geography. No! The state Everyone, I'm your host, Barbie. Right? You have no idea how frustrating it is for these people to explain who and where they are from. We have reached our last country in the Caucasus region, and we're going to have a lot of fun because this place is so incredibly unknown and so incredibly interesting. Welcome to the land of wolves. All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, ask a random like person wolves. on the street where Georgia is on a map. 80% of them won't know. 19.3% of them will point to this. And the remaining 0.7%... Yeah, the state in, um, in America, right, might okay. Might get it right. For the 99.3% of you normies out there, Georgia is the northernmost Caucasus country located in this quarter slip of land nuzzled between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea below eastern Russia with Turkey and Oh, Armenia shit, I didn't know it was located there. East. Now, here's where I the thought it might have been Africa. Is. is Georgia in Europe or Asia? Some will argue that it stands east of Turkey, which is kind of seen as like the gateway to Asia, but culturally it identifies closer with Europe. Ultimately, I guess oh, you shit. Conclude that it's kind of like both in one. It's a bunch of white people in Asia. Or Caucasians. <laughs> <laughs> Quick side note, the origin of their name, Georgia, is kind of disputed. Some will say that it has to do with St. George, their patron saint. Others right. will say that it came from the Greeks and their word Georgios, which means tiller of the land. Probably that, right? Was so fertile. But a lot it's of scholars that. might say it comes from the Persian word gur or gurgen, meaning wolf, hence land oh, that's of the sick. wolves. I mean, that name does sound pretty cool. I mean, if I was a scholar, I'd probably discredit all the other claims in favor of that. Yeah, that's sick. Georgians I'll call do their that. own country Sakartvelo, or the land of the Kartvelians, which is another word for Georgians. Now, this is going to be my favorite part because you know me. Incredibly complicated administrative division time. Georgia is a candy shop loaded with territorial anomalies. First of all, if you go to Georgia and look at a map of Georgia that they have drawn out themselves, you'll get something that looks like this. A country divided into what looks like 11 regions and one city, the capital, Tbilisi. Yeah, I know, it looks like Tbilisi. It's Tbilisi. However, Tbilisi. it's more like 10-ish regions and two autonomous republics, one of which cuts through parts of four of the regions. These republics are Abkhazia and, be careful what you call the second one, most people outside of Georgia will refer to it as South Ossetia, but in Georgian, it's called Samachablo, right. or the Skimbali region. In the simplest way I can put this, these regions came about through a complicated history that involved independence from the USSR and then support from Russia after the USSR. Technically, these are, at least considered by most in the international community, autonomous breakaway regions of Georgia that kind of right, govern themselves weird. but are kind of heavily influenced by Russia as well. To this day, Russia, Nicaragua, Venezuela, and for some reason, Nauru are the only fully sovereign countries that recognize Abkhazia and South Ossetia as independent nations. Travel between these two breakaway states is still possible though. It's just way more difficult for Georgians to enter the regions than it is for Ossetians and Abkhazians to get into Georgia. Whew. Right. Yeah. So anyway, aside from all that, Georgia is an incredibly Oof. vivacious yet rustically refined nook hidden away in the mountains. Oh, that's Arctic. beautiful. Like Rivendell. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot. Here we go. Boom. Jogging now. Put me down in the bottom left corner. She's <laughs> laden with enigmatic castles and centuries old Aye. stony fortresses and archways. Like Rivendell. As well as an abundance surely, of Surely. I don't know if he's referencing it right now, but surely there's a lot of movies filmed in Georgia. Pinted statues with the curiously fascinating, curvy, wispy script written all... Okay, this is freaking me out. No, but seriously, Georgia is a very rock and stone type of country. They love rocks. The largest cities and airports are, of course, in the capital, Tbilisi, Kutaisi, and Batumi. Tbilisi is a bustling city with the stone and mortar Narikara fortress looming That's above it. on a hill. Batumi, though, is kind of like the fun city on the Black Sea with a more youthful flair and bold, sharp, dynamic architecture. All adjacent to the famous Batumi stone beaches. I'm telling you, they love stones. Some notable sites would include places like the Gori. Wait, love stone beaches. The, 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 that's like the UK. That is stone beaches. Oh, the statues of the eight warriors or the Katsuki pillar, a limestone model. Yo, that's sick. What the fortress with the statues of the eight warriors or the Katsuki pillar, a limestone monolith with a single church oh on my top God. only accessible by climbing. And finally, castles, That's so castles, cool. castles everywhere you go. Notable ones like Rabati, Hinkani, Aspinza, and Ninos Minda, all of which are made of, you guessed it, stones. Stone. There's more to this country than just stones, I promise. All right, let's discuss really? that. Really? 
Well, as you may have already figured, Georgia is quite mountainous with an expanse of incredibly diverse, conveniently located hills and valleys. The reason why it's so convenient is because the entire country is pretty much nestled between the greater and lesser Caucasus Mountains, which protects it from the blistering cold air masses that pummel southern Russia, yet it also barricades against the hot and dry streams that penetrate from the south. This means that cool. they have overall pretty comfortable wow. weather and just the right amount of rainfall and sunshine. The mighty Kura or Mkhvar... They, they are, like, Georgia has such like big drops to their lakes, don't they? So they, they have like a lake and then they have like a, a, like, a lot of fucking rock. And then, the you know what I mean? River that flows upward and like, look, right here as well. Like, it's such big drops to the lake. South into the areas through Tbilisi, and the highest mountain and third highest in Europe, if you consider Georgia part of Europe, Mount Sakhara, located in the north along the Caucasus. Concealed within the hills lies the Yavheti Volcanic Plateau and the southern Georgia Volcanic Highland. These are some rather unstable geological wow. regions that will produce hot springs, mineral water, and seismic activity. And of course, caves. So many of them here. You have the still yet completely explored Meluri Cave in Imereti with waterfalls. The Prometheus cave that Greeks claim to be the spot where Prometheus was chained to his rock in Greek mythology. Greeks oh, have shit. a history of diaspora in Georgia since like the 7th century. But the most famous cave would probably be the Krubera cave found in Abkhazia, otherwise known as the world's deepest cave that goes further than 2,000 meters down. Rapid fire mm. round, you may also want to see the Abasha waterfalls, Martvili Canyon, wow. Pridevi Mountain because it rains there almost the entire year, the incredibly beautiful blue lake in Abkhazia with peacocks around it for some reason. Speaking of animals, many might say that unofficially the national animal might be the wolf. The caucus this region has some of the highest quality of soil in the world in terms of land usage. Georgia has one of the oldest and finest winemaking traditions that go back as far as 300 BC. Otherwise, Georgia has been a hub for mineral mining and petroleum extraction. They share a pipeline that goes through Turkey into Azerbaijan. The what cool country? Hachpuri, or unofficially referred to as Georgian. What is that? Decadent soft bread baked with gooey melted cheese, sometimes served with is that eggs egg? and other ingredients uh. often baked in. They love cheese. They have so many different kinds, from the salty, briny sulguni to the weird, stringy tenny. They even have a oh, dish where like they put cheese, cheese inside of cheese. Basically, all you have to know is that when it comes to Georgian cooking, they love cherry plums and tarragon. That's like their go-tos. All right, enough about food. Let's talk about the people that eat those foods. Cheese within cheese. Now, if you thought oh pointing my out Georgia God. on a map was difficult, try explaining what a Georgian person is. First of all, one broader term you could use to refer to someone who is ethnically Georgian would be Kartvelian, which encapsulates all the ethno-linguistic groups found in Georgia. If you include Abkhazia and South Ossetia, the country has about 4.8 million people and is currently attempting a population rebound after losing oh, yeah. about 1 million people in the past 20 years due to migration. The country huh? is made up of about 87% ethnic Georgians or Kartvelians, 6% Azerbaijani and Azeri, 5% Armenians, and the rest are made of other groups like Greeks, Russians, and Ossetians. They also use the Georgian lari as their currency, they use the C and F plug outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. The most distinguishable facet about Georgia, though, would have to be the Georgian language. Like Armenian, it's unlike any other in the world, standing on its own, not derived from any Indo-European or even Asiatic language branch. The language is also written in the Georgian script. Technically, they have three alphabets, but they only use one. The huh? alphabet has 33 letters, no F sound, and a ton of strange, almost impossible to pronounce letters. For example... So, huh. Thank you to those geographers. Wait, 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 but how do you, how do you say them in words? Like, like oh my well. god. Keep in mind, though, there are other Kartvelian minority languages spoken in Georgia as well, such as Magrelian and Svan in the west and partially in Abkhazia, as well as Laz in the south. Abkhazia and South Ossetia each have their own distinct languages and cultures that contrast with Georgia, although Georgians like to think that Abkhazians are basically just Georgians that speak a different language. The Abkhazian people write in the Cyrillic alphabet, and the Ossetians are actually a Christian Iranian Three different alphabets, man. The area. Keep in mind, I said Iranian, not Persian. Not all Iranians are Persians. Just keep that in mind. Now, we don't really have time to explain the complete history, but basically, all you have to know is that in the 3rd century BC, some dude named King Parnavaz of Kartli united all the Kartvelian speaking tribes in the Caucasus area, hence creating what was essentially the first proto-Georgian nation. From there, you had Romans, Persians, Arabs, Turks, Golden Age, where they had women under the title of king, Mongols, Ottomans, Russians, and finally back to Georgia. Done! The funny thing is, even after that two millennia of usurping empires, Georgia still maintained and held on to their own distinct identity, refusing to completely assimilate to any outside system. Cool. Christianity is a dominant religion as about 84% of the population adheres to the Eastern Orthodox faith, 10% mostly being Muslim from the Azerbaijani population, and the remainder are mostly Armenian Apostolic or Roman Catholic. Christianity is kind of like a big deal here. Georgia became one of the first countries in the world to adopt Christianity, and as tradition holds, Jesus' disciple Andrew preached the gospel into ancient Scythia, which included the regions that Georgia lies in today. Also a lady oh, named Saint Nino converted the entire country. Culture Wise, Georgia is kind of strange because it's not quite European and it's not quite Asian. It's its own thing. Georgian. It's a song making my way back to Georgia. I think that's how it goes, right?
Is that based on... Uh, that's based on the state, I'm guessing. Not the country, right? Phonic singing is actually filed under UNESCO's intangible heritage list. All Georgians will tell you that Georgian traditional dance is something that they are proud of. Fast, difficult, dynamic, and bold with a lot of leaping and pointing. Georgians are also known for being really into strength sports, even women. They love wrestling and weightlifting and judo. They typically and they're compete really well strong. these events at the Olympics. Konstantin Yanashia reaching some of the highest ranks in the world's strongest man competition. Speaking of which, the most notable Georgian in the world ever seen, although they might not be proud of it, would probably be Joseph Stalin. Although, to be fair, he did spend a lot of his time in Russia being a Russian dictator. So, yeah. yeah. Hospitality okay. is a huge deal out here. As the saying goes in Georgia, a guest is a gift from God. And granted, no matter who you are, they'll pretty much just treat you to some I want to try this. What was what it? Bread, che bread, cheese, and egg? And that's kind of how they are. I don't really like policy, egg though. Mostly. <coughs> Russia. <clears throat> Let's explain. In the simplest way I can put this, Georgia is like the Christian country with the most Muslim friends. It's weird because everything is like a high school drama with their neighbors. They get along well with Azerbaijan and Turkey. Trade and travel has been open for centuries. However, the memory of the Ottoman time still lingers ever so slightly. So they keep things at a flat platonic cordial level. Armenia kind of like used to be their best friend, but then too many things happened and they kind of decided not to hang out as much. Aww. First started in the 6th century with the Council of Chalcedon in which they split over secondary Christian doctrine issues. Armenia became apostolic orthodox, similar to the Coptic series. Ethiopian branches, whereas Georgia stayed Eastern Orthodox, like the Greeks, Serbians, and Russians, and most of the other Eastern European states. Also, keep in mind, Armenia favored Russia after all that drama with Abkhazia and South Ossetia, so that kind of split the divide a little bit more. Their best friends, though, would probably be the Ukraine and the Balkan countries, like Latvia and Lithuania and Estonia, even though Estonia is kind of like too busy chatting it up with Finland. All these countries have had the same scenario of dealing with some kind of form of aggression with Russia, and in a sense, bond over the shared calamity. Of course, they have. Honestly, I at this point, who hasn't had some form, you know, of aggression with uh, with Russia, man? Uh, who who hasn't? Twist. Because even though you would think Georgia's worst nightmare would be Russia, they kind of secretly still kind of a little bit maybe still have a soft spot for them. Each country has family of their own residing in each side and loves to visit cool. each other. Even though politically it looks bad, the general citizens of each country still love each other and look forward to each encounter. Huh. Isn't it funny how the general populace of a country is not always directly represented by their government? Shocking. Oh, that's all the time. Georgia is a rustic yet modernized medieval domain locked away in the secret hidden mountains caught between two worlds that it refuses to identify with with its own vibrant heritage that has stood the test of time on its own, especially that melted cheese bread part. Stay tuned. My that is good. Germany. There we go. I know a little bit about Georgia other than uh, being my sister's name. <laughs> but really good video. Enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.